Before World War II, both Europe and the United States joined forces to develop a groundbreaking aircraft that could provide essential ground support to friendly infantry and tanks. Around the same time, the Soviet Union began exploring the concept of a dedicated ground attack aircraft, equipped with sturdy armor to withstand low-altitude combat, while providing vital support fire. These revolutionary aircraft were known as the Sturmovic warplanes, designed to be flying tanks, combining firepower, armor protection, and performance to effectively neutralize ground targets, whether armored or unarmored. The Soviet attempts to develop such a formidable vehicle proved initially unsuccessful until designer Nikolai Polikarpov introduced the R-5SH Sturmovic and other aircraft that came close to meeting the Soviet requirements. These aircraft saw action during the Spanish Civil War of 1936 and the Battle of Kalkingal against the Japanese in 1939. However, they were found lacking in engine power and sufficient armor to fully protect the pilots as intended. The game-changer came when Sergei Vladimirovich Ilyushin and his team from the Ilyushin Aircraft Design Bureau devised a unique design that finally impressed Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. The Ilyushin I, El Sturmovic, also known as the Hunchback, was born. Ilyushin's design focused on replacing the heavy and challenging to work with armor plates with an entire fuselage constructed from pure steel armor, forming an integral part of the airframe load-bearing scheme. Stalin wholeheartedly supported Ilyushin's vision, and the project advanced without any competition. The initial prototypes of the Ilyushin I, L2 Sturmovic were single-engine, low-wing monoplanes powered by a Mikulin AM35 engine, generating over 1,350 horsepower. Later, more powerful engines would replace the initial ones. The aircraft's distinguishing feature was the incorporation of riveted homogeneous armor steel into the hull, providing protection for the cockpit, engine, fuel tanks, and oil radiators. Originally designed as single-seaters, the Sturmoviks were reconfigured as two-seaters when the Third Reich invaded the Soviet Union, necessitating a gunner to fend off hostile Luftwaffe aircraft. The first flight tests occurred in October 1939, one month after the Soviet-German invasion of Poland. However, Ilyushin continued to refine the design before entering mass production. The Ilyushin I, L2 Sturmovic was armed with five 7.62mm machine guns, with one dedicated to defense and two 23mm cannons. The fuselage featured a tapered tail, housing a single vertical fin and low-set horizontal planes with rounded tips. The cockpit arrangement placed both crew members back to back, with the engine compartment leading to a long nose section, where the cockpit had to be placed closer to midships. These modifications to the glazing where the rear gunner sat led to the nickname Hunchback. As rumors of a German invasion of the Soviet Union spread across Europe, production of the Sturmovic began in March 1941. However, due to inadequate pilot training and the Luftwaffe's swift destruction of the aircraft close to the regions where the Axis attacked, the initial deployment faced significant challenges. Nevertheless, the Sturmovic's production increased dramatically as the Soviet industry relocated beyond the Ural Mountains. Despite facing some challenges with production quality, the Sturmovic proved its worth in the battlefield. The aircraft's heavy armor allowed it to withstand enemy fire, leading the Germans to dub it the concrete plane. Sturmoviks were responsible for wreaking havoc on German ground forces during pivotal battles, such as the Battle of Stalingrad and the Battle of Kursk. With a combination of machine guns, cannons, and anti-tank bomblets, the Sturmovik effectively tore through German panzers and played a crucial role in Soviet victories against enemy tanks. Mass attacks and the circle of death tactic further showcased the Sturmovik's formidable power, culminating in the destruction of over 250 German panzers during the skirmishes at Kursk. In conclusion, the Ilyushin I, L2 Sturmovik, or Hunchback, became a legendary aircraft that played a pivotal role in providing ground support during World War II. Its robust armor, powerful weaponry, and innovative design made it a formidable weapon against enemy ground forces, leaving a lasting impact on the outcome of crucial battles.